Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first day of May I Scrap With You. So I got off to a little bit of a late start. We'll see uh, if I can catch up a little bit, but I did want to get on here and do my first day. And although this is going up on the 4th, um, it is day one for me because I always start May I Scrap With You in the same way, and that is by scrap lifting the mastermind behind this lovely series, which is my friend Crystal. And you can see the layout that I'm scrap lifting up here in the corner. It's quite a recent one. Now, I, for some reason, sort of the month before, I do try and get myself all organized, get my list done, and then sort of match it up with Crystal's list. and 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 get some layouts that I want to scrap lift. And then of course, the first of May comes around and I go off and do something completely different, which I seem to be doing again this year because this is not actually the layout that I had chosen to begin with, but it was the layout that I felt like doing because I wanted to specifically do this photo. And I wanted to combine this with uh, a design team project for Spiegel Mom Scraps. So let me give you a little bit of reasoning sort of behind that. So this is going to go in Chloe's album. Oh, let me get that put down actually while we, no, let me just talk about, well, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit all over the place, my friends. So um, this is going to go into Chloe's album. A friend, she's on her way back already that whole semester. Uh, went by so, so fast. I'm sure for her, it was like just a total, total blur. But we still have quite a few layouts to do for her. So hopefully I can participate in her reliving all of those lovely memories. So I had this photo on my desk, which Chloe had posted of Le Petit Victor Hugo, which is an iconic, a, a famous brasserie in Paris. It it was, it's a big, big, big heyday was back in the 70s, but it is now uh, getting a bit of a revival. And I just loved, loved, loved this photo that she posted. And I really wanted to get that done. And for some reason, to me, it just goes perfectly with this layout of crystals. Now, as I said, this is a layout that she did very recently. In fact, it was a sketch Sunday that we do together, but I've not pulled the sketch back out. I'm not looking at the sketch. I am strictly scrapbooking, scrap lifting, I should say, the lovely crystal. Now, crystal's page is an eight and a half by 11. I'm bringing it back to 12 by 12. And um, the idea I have is because this is a brasserie and this is part of, of course, all of the uh, liquor and, and that that is on display in such a gorgeous way, I thought I would do a couple of sequin martini glasses, my friends. So my first try in sketching out a martini glass, this was like humongous. And I thought, oh my God, you know, that's way too big to put down here. And it throws, throws the balance off completely. So I sketched out uh, one morning before work this week, uh, sort of a little, a small martini glass. And I'm, I'm going to do it over on the reverse side. And I will definitely want to get one down here. You see where Crystal has that lovely tulip. I'm going to do a martini glass. Now I have that say cheese, that Bramble Fox piece I actually have. I God, I wish it said say cheers. So I'm going to have to find a way. I mean, I want my title to simply be something like cheers. I have the photo up here and I will do another martini glass. I think maybe as part of this cluster up here. Now, let me get the photo down because I do have these two pieces already down. I am using, uh, this is sort of also, I guess in a way, a, a bit of a leftovers to layouts because I went back to one of, a couple of my page kits from Fifth and Monaco and the leftovers that I had 
and I am using that for this layout. So let me sort of get that up here and I want the photo on an angle as well. Crystal's angle goes from left to right. I'm, um, I'm sorry, from right to left, I'm doing the contrary. So let me get that down there and then sort of get this here as well and sort of get the same, let me see, pop this here, I think, yeah, and then I'll just cut, no, you see, I want that in here, but there we go, like that, so that I sort of have the torn edge that Crystal has there at the top as well, and then we'll cut this off. Let's see, can I do that? Properly. Oh, not bad actually. Well, there we go. Not bad at all. So to get a little bit of mixed media on the background, um, as Crystal did, I just went in and I got my colorings, colorings in Don't Citron Me. And I started by doing some patch packaging technique. So that gives it a bit more of a yellow hue, a sort of yellow lime. And then did some splattering to really give it the lime color. So I have the photo down and I have that. So the two big elements are going to be these martini glasses. Am I well in frame? I am. Okay. Now, so if you, if you look at my sketch sort of here on this side, the idea will, of course, be to get some sequence around here, then down on the stem and around the glass, and I think maybe inside, uh, I might do, and I didn't bring them here, let me go get, I might inside to represent the liquid, I might do the moonshine, this was from the April release, and the two mixes that I've taken out for sort of my contour are the succulent sash, which I've talked to you about, I think was this March or even February, and a, a much older uh, mix, Don't Rush Me, because I like the lime color in here. I think it, it, it goes beautifully here and maybe even some of the yellow. And here I want to bring in, of course, the pink and maybe a little bit of the aqua. And there's sort of a lime color here, which is more, which has a little bit more of the yellow hue. So I might, you know, bring those in as well so let me put these in my little bowl here and i will start maybe a bit with you i i, I don't want to make you watch me you know glue sequins down for <laughs> very long so i might just do a teensy little bit here with you so that you can maybe sort of see how i am putting the glue there we go. Yeah, so that I can sort of do the glass all the way around. There we go. That's sort of the idea. And then we'll bring it, bring it down. Now, what I look at, and I, I think I got this back when I, I started playing a lot with sequins a few years ago, a few years ago, um, from Christy, and that is to get the glue down a bit, and then you, I sort of want it to be a little bit tacky, and it's there, therefore a lot easier once it is uh, to get the sequins down easily. So let me take one of these lovely lime ones already and we will start so you see the idea is I'm going to go around and I'm going to use some pink the pink here are fairly big but anyway I think I'm going to just let's just put them around anyway there we go let's put one there and I'm going to take a little bit of this lovely sort of aqua as well because I, I think I really should be using the smaller ones around here. So we might 
sort of just do that and I'm going to use a little bit of the sort of orangey peachy it might not match the paper as much but I think it will look it will be a lot easier to do a proper contour with these instead so you see we go around let me put this one up here maybe there we go one of these so you see you get the idea here friends i think this is going to be cute well i'm hoping it's going to be cute so we'll have to see And I had at one point, because I had used, I had done a, a stitched martini glass at one point, and I had, and I can't remember whether it was a stitching, oh, come here, I need to move this over, there we go, okay, like that, all the way around, and we'll get a blue, and I can't find it, I don't know whether it was a clip art that I had maybe printed out, or, um, whether it was a cut file, but my cut files, I have them all in a printable file on my computer. So I'm pretty sure I would not have, you know, mistakenly deleted it or something like that. So I think it must be, there we go. Let's get this one down. It must have been just a clip art and I guess maybe I didn't keep it. So I just freehanded this. I don't know. I mean, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not a sketcher or a drawer in any way, shape, or form, but you know what? This is just going to go into my album, and it will do, and it will have pretty, beautiful, fun sequins on it, so I think that will be fun. Let me get this. There you go, and we'll get one more, a couple more on here. Hopefully, I can get to let me you know what no here then I am going to go get a little bit of a bigger one no that's actually too big okay so let's not let's take this yellow one which looks like it would fit better yeah there we go okay so you see so that is the contour so therefore we have the glass now I'm going to come down this way of course and then we will see if we sort of fill in the middle so my friends let me go off i hope that was important all through that yeah i think it was wasn't it uh let me go off and get my martini glasses done and figure out what i'm going to use for my title and then we will finish this together see you in a sec my friends okay my friends so i did two different versions i did finish this one off as i mentioned to you, I would. And what I did here, I don't know whether it shows on the camera. I went in and I put a little wink of Stella. Am I putting that in the right place? Yeah. I don't know whether that you can see that and whether the shimmer shows, but I did do that. And I did just put a, a couple, a few of the moonshine sequins in the glass and then I put it on the layout because I think I want to put it here and I went back into that page kit and I brought out my celebrate and I think I want to pop it right here with that and when I put that down I didn't find that it was enough in hindsight I think I would have preferred a shaker element and I'm definitely going to do that uh, again actually now that I think of it um, I think there is a, a die set out there somewhere because my lovely friend Karina actually sent me a birthday card once with a lovely martini uh, shaker element so I must sort of go and look at that but so then I said well what if I take the other one and I sort of do a faux shaker where I put the glue down and just do like the sequin. So I did that, uh, but the shape is sort of not really correct. So I'm not sure. You see, I was thinking I might put that there. 
I'm honestly not sure now this one is actually growing on me. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to sort of do this area, my friends, and then we'll decide from there. I went into my stash and got a Paige Evans uh, chipboard piece here to get that lovely floral that uh, Crystal has up uh, on her layout. So I'm going to uh, put this on foam so I'm going to get this little area up on foam is that going to work I think so isn't it yes there we go then let's do this I'll put that up on foam we'll get that down put that here then I'm going to do just a little tiny one here. I need to get that there. There we go. And this I'm using every little bit, so we'll pop that here. Okay, so I think I'll be able to get that down, and then I'll show you what else I've taken out. This is taking definitely a different turn um so but i think i don't know i hope it's worthy of a dt project i'm not too sure but as you know life is a little bit weird at the moment so we'll just go with what we do and i'm scrapbooking quietly with my boy on the table with me often so let's get that down. So there we go. So let's, let me see, because I want to celebrate there because I want the B to be over this sort of area right there. And I'll have that pop sort of nestle in there. Okay, so let's put that there and we'll get the celebrate down as well. So let's do that. Let's get that there. And I must use these dice more. This, I really love to make titles, actually. And I have a few word dice, so I, I need to sort of get that portion. That should be my next, I guess, let's get organized in a way so that I can have those at the ready because this was fun to make and it's fun to use. I use three layers. Let me get the B there. There we go. Bring that down a little bit and we will get the celebrate there. There we go. All right, so we have that down. Now, let me see what else I might want to do in this area. So I have a couple. I brought the these Paige Evans chipboard bits out. And I think maybe, see, the flower here could be nice as well. I could maybe pop that here. So I'm thinking of this here. Ah, now you see, maybe I could do that like that and then sort of have the flower here pop this up on foam and have that flat to the page. And then I might like it. Let's let's do that. Now, so let's see, because if I put that here, if I want it, yeah, sort of there like that. Okay, I think I am going to use it. And then we're going to pop this up on foam so i'm going to put some foam there on the leaves let me get the leaves here so let me put some foam there and on this leaf i think that will work well let me see so if i do that yeah, see, I can put that there. And then I need to put 
foam on that one here, right there. Now will that do it? And on this one next to it. And I think that might work, my friends. Okay, so let's just do it and we're going to see. I mean, this may not be my favorite layout and I may have to tell Chloe that it's not the best in her album. But, you know, my grandnieces, Chloe, Erica, they're all so, Gwen, they're all so supportive. I feel very, very blessed and they tend to always like what I do, even if sometimes I don't. There we go. So let's, okay, let's pop that there. Okay, you know what? I, I kind of like that now. Okay, so now I got a little boo-boo down here, a little Wink of Stella, but we're just going to, we're just going to leave it there, my friends. Okay, so that is better than I thought. Now we'll see afterwards if we want to add a few more sequins. Now, so I have that. I have another flower there. I need to get a little something um, down in this area here. Oh, that's falling off. What if I did maybe this one? Or how, oh, this could be cute. Bring that down there. Oh, do I want it up here? I think I want it down here. Maybe, not so sure. This could be cute. Do I want to maybe pop that in here? Oh, look at that. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pop that there. Okay, do I want another floral? Do I want maybe this floral here? Yeah, there we go. I think I like that. Okay, now we're going to get these out of the way. I don't think there's anything more that I want to pop on there. Okay, let's do that there. And then... Go pop that over there now. Let's have a look here because I'm thinking. Uh, look, we have a couple. Let me just pop that here. There we go. And there's another one that I'm going to pop here. Want that there? I think I do, or do I want it more like this? No, nope, I want it. Let's pop that under here. There we go. That little drink there. And do we have another drink on here? We have a pitcher. Uh, maybe some watermelon. This is more beachy. Oh, here, look. How about a lemon? Oh, let's look at these. There we go. Get some lemons. Let me pop. That up here. There we go. And we'll put... Want to get something there now? Crystal has. Maybe do I want to put? Yeah, there we go. Let's sort of just pop the line there. No, I don't want that there. That's hiding the drink in the back a little bit too much. Okay, there we go. How about we do it like this? There we go. Get that little lime in there. Yeah. So we have some drinks. That. 
do I have? I'm not, we have another little lemon up here that I can pop there. All right. Let's maybe do the two little cherries down here. That would be cute right there. Okay. Coming up on the sort of diagonal. And then I have, now you see, I was thinking I might want to pop this floral in here. Would I want to pop that there? Yeah. Oh, it's really not the right path. There we go. Put that there. And then you see I have... Want a pineapple? How about if I pop a pineapple here? Okay, you know what? Let's see if I want to put a couple of these cocktail glasses. There we go, a nice pink one there. want to do something like this here or maybe the orange well there we go maybe this no see I don't really want that there or here I'm thinking hmm I was hoping I wanted to sort of get that there but I'm not Oh, maybe how about we put it there? Maybe I do this one here. Okay, that one there. And then, where did I put... Where did I put the pineapples? And then I could put a pineapple. And a flamingo. Oh, that's a little busy, isn't it, my friends? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think that's all a little bit too much. You know what? I think, I actually think this as is, is enough. And I think I will just put a few more, just a few more sequins for the fun of it. Let's just add a few little sequins here and there. Sort of pop a sequin there. A nice green one, a yellow one, a green one. Pop this lovely, there we go, sort of here, a little blue one, and then let's do a yellow one here, another green one, up here, and let's pop a pink one. Here, and I think that will sort of finish off this area and then we'll put a couple over there as well just get one in there let's do a nice yellow one right there and a green one here and a yellow one up here with a green one there we go my friends and i think that will do it okay so there you go we managed it now i'm not sure you know not every layout can be our favorite layout it this one didn't translate from my brain to the page quite as well as I hoped. And you know, sometimes I say to you, oh my God, that really just came out exactly how I envisaged it. This one may be not quite as much, but you know what? It's going to be in Chloe's album. She's going to love it. It will bring her back the memory of her visit to this lovely brasserie in Paris and bring her back some of her memories. And it's another page in the book. I got to play with my gorgeous and lovely Spiegel Mom Scrap sequins, the Don't Rush Me um, set, Succulent Sass, 
and some of the moonshine. So playing with my sequins makes me happy. Gluing them down is, is an exercise in patience, but I find it very zen. I actually enjoy doing it as I do fussy cutting and stitching, but I do not, my friends, I do not back cut files. <laughs> so there you go. We all have our zen activities. There is my scrap lift of my dear friend Crystal, who does amazing work with cut files, by the way, and a project for Spiegel Mom Scraps, the best design team out there. And I will see you back here very, very soon, my friends. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.